Alright, in today's video we've got another Zenkai rush battle here against uh, the new Broly, right? That's got his Zenkai. Which is a pretty good choice actually for Zenkai, as I'm actually happy he's finally got one. But yeah, this video will be quickly showing how to do the Zenkai battle rush. Yet again, these don't take long. The biggest thing here is actually focusing on what units to bring. So basically what you want to do is just check battle bonus characters, which is basically just, you could just say GT. Slash powerful opponent if you want to call it that. So basically this team I've got here, just basically full GT. The equipment doesn't matter too much, just anything good. And yeah, again, just mainly pick the three, well the three units you have. Even if you don't have all the GT units, you can just have, you know, let's just say only Broly, you know, Boo and then Kid Boo, right? This basically focus on like a full green sort of support bench to sort of help out the units. Because Zenkai Rush Battles aren't very difficult. They used to be, but with all the Zenkai buffs we got that now, it's fairly easy to do. Now, I probably will do a little bit more damage in the last phase of the fight, mainly because I do have Gogeta there up to have a little bit of, like, art speed, right? So I will have a little bit more damage. But at the same time, you don't need to get them done, art speed. I do recommend people to get them at least, yeah, at least a unit of each typing. So, like, green, red, blue, and all that. At least one unit with full arts boosted. So then if you are struggling in these Zenkai Rush Battles, for example, just chuck one of the units on there, and you should like you should be fine, right? But yeah, we'll cut right to the end of the, like the last stage of the fight, and yeah, we'll go from there. Last stage here, this shouldn't take too long at all. I mean... I don't know, I don't know what else I would do to speed this up, because this one was a little bit longer. I think mainly because Broly has a little bit more health than what... Um, the other ones do, right? The the previous ones. So it's it's not an issue, obviously. It just takes a little bit longer to do. So, but... If you are new to the game, there is one good thing about this sort of Zenkai Battle Rush thing. Is there's no limits to get the rewards, right? As long as you beat it, you know, that's fine. You get all the rewards done. So you don't have to worry about if, your like if one of your characters die or stuff like that. As long as you get it done, you can Zenkai Rush to speed it up if you want. You know, which I'll probably do because I'd rather get this video over and done with, sort of thing. Because, yeah, th these these are mainly for you know, newer players, these sort of videos. Because, I don't know, what's the best way to explain it? It's just, to get these events down packed, sort of thing, with Legends, is make sure you know which units to bring, which power units you to bring, and then your best, like, support bench, right? So like I said, as long as your main sort of target, whichever colour it is, so, you know, for this one it was green, as long as your target sort of a heavy green sort of support bench, you'll be fine. Except for me, I used GT on this, mainly because I was using GT units. So I'm curious, how much damage is going to do? Yeah, they did a lot of damage. So maybe they are getting a little bit hard, I just haven't really noticed it too much. Because like, if I wasn't using Battle Bones characters then, I probably would have been dead. Actually, let, let's do the LF. I, I don't usually see this LF often. Because I don't really use uh, Mega Shenron, so... I do know it's very long, that's all I remember. But yeah, as you can see, not really any difficulty with it, I'd say. Because like I said, we could have afford, like we could have had 17 die there, and we still would have done this mission anyway. So, I guess that's one of the good things about this. They do take a little bit to do, time-wise. I think in total this took me about anywhere from like 10 to 15 minutes, I don't really count, but that's just a rough estimate. So yeah, like I said, as long as you get the team builds right at the start, and you don't have to change much, you're pretty much set, right? So yeah, there's your rewards, pretty easy. Um, if you do need help with team builds or anything like that, just uh, let me know in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this video and you want to see more, please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you as I win the next one.